Fuck let's! Fuck off! Hey everyone, my name is Mike, and in this video we'll be checking out the magic cataclysm in Skellige, and Yennefer believes that Ciri has something to do with it, so that's the reason why we're checking it out. And the, the current quest is Echoes of the Past, and we need to meet Yennefer at the site, so here we go, we've got a cutscene straight away. Can hear you two clear on the other side of the island. Good! May all Skellige know! Jennifer of Vengerberg is a common thief! Control yourself, Druid. I haven't stolen anything. I've merely borrowed something and fully intend to return it. Ha! The generosity. Just one small problem. Once used, the mask is rendered completely worthless. Not to mention the risk you'll bury us alive and all the Isles with us! Yeah, so in the last video we stole a mask from this guy's lab laboratory and he's not too happy about it, so what can we say? What are you talking about? Sure you're not overreacting. Let's... let's say what you're talking about. Barry, what are you talking about? She's not told you? Might have expected as much. The myth is that Orboros created the mask when the envious seas swallowed his beloved. Unable to bear the prospect that he would never again see his betrothed, Urborus made the mask, which would allow him to peer into the past. He knew, however, that he could only use it once. So he waited. Waited until his longing grew so strong that it became unbearable. When the sea learnt of the mask, it was quick to respond. It made known it's threat that whosoever used the mask would bring the sea's wrath down on them. For in vengeance, the sea would rise and flood all the lands and drown the living. I don't understand. Why would the sea have a problem with it? Has the sea got its own mind? It's a bit weird. So yeah, is this mask, you can peer into the, uh, the past. So Yenna wants to use it in this cataclysm to see what happened and if Siri was there. So anyone ever used it? Obviously no, because it can only be used once. So let's ask, how did you get the mask? Where do you get this mask? Sailors from Clan Dimmon pulled it from the sea. Near the Njord Trench. Yeah, but how can you be sure this is Urboros's mask? Its appearance is exactly as described in the myths. You believe the myths? Only ignorant fools belittle their significance. Besides, it's not the myths that are on trial here. It's the thief. Um, try to understand Yen. She, she did it for Siri. We've got Crack's permission. And um, we've got Crack's permission to investigate the site, but we haven't got Crack's permission to steal the mask. So that's a bit of a silly thing to say. And um, she did it for Siri. Let's just say we did it for Siri. On the one hand, a theft. On the other, Siri's life. I also care deeply for the girl. I proposed a series of other methods. Yennefer refused to listen. She claimed they would take too long. Whereas she wants, she needs immediate results. She has always been hot-headed. True. At least this time she's got a valid reason for it. Never mind that she might bring... Oh, what the fuck? What? What was that? Has she done the mask? Oh. Jennifer's used the mask. Holy shit. So, uh, the sea's not going to be happy about that? The sea may bring down a flood? It is starting to rain, so... The myths are true. <laughs> Shit. Alright, so they have to go talk to Yennefer. Where is she? How far away? She's only 80 feet away. Let's see what she... So did... how do you use the mask? Do you just put it on your face or something? don't actually know how you use it. Why did she rush to it as well? Like, she fought before while it's while Foglets. Oh, shit. Great. I really hate Foglets. Foglets are the worst enemies. Because... One thing is they give you a shit frame rate because of all the smoke they produce. And another thing is they're invisible. It's fucking annoying. These are such the... They're like the, the worst enemy. I don't actually know the best tactic to fighting these because you can't block them properly. And also... And you can't see them. <laughs> and they make duplicates of themselves. Actually, I'm not doing that that bad at the moment. I think I'm a little bit overleveled for this quest. I've been doing a lot of side content. What was that? Unicorns. Damn it, Yen. I saw the foglets. I meant how they get here. The power of the mask summoned them. Yeah, stupid bitch. What do, what do we do now? Um, 
Mm, Imian's furious with you. It's to that first. Ermian says the mask might cause a natural disaster. Fortunate he's here then. He can jump right in, try to tame it. Realize he won't let this pass. Oh, I'll survive somehow. Yeah, just because you're a sorceress doesn't mean, you know, you, you gotta fuck everyone else up. So what do we do now? What now? The mask reveals the past, but only in certain places. Places where past events left a strong magical imprint. Take it. Why don't you use it? Want me to wear it? Yes. I'll cast a spell that will let me see through your eyes. Oh, fair enough. So that way we can both see. Gonna read my mind. Let's go. Um, let's go. Well, let's go. This way. Already found the first spot. Yen's got amazing eyes, doesn't she? Like purple. So yeah, I know to use quest items. There it is, it's there already. Should be R1 to use it. Let's follow Yen. We haven't got to wear it just yet, I don't think. He's going to take us to the first place where there's a strong magical this past. Okie doke. What was that, like a portal? What's that? A portal? Two people emerged from it. The woman was Siri. How can you know? The way she moved. Like a witcher. Seems they went that way. Come, let's find the next spot. How can you tell if how a witcher walks? Let's, let's, watch, let's watch Geralt walk. I mean, that's no different to anyone. How does he, how does he know how witchers walk? Did he sway the hips more? Damn, you're up. She walks like a witcher. Fuck, let's. Fuck off. Yeah, that is. Wreck him. That's it. Ah. See, my tactic for fighting Foglets is kill them before they kill me. <laughs> Use the mask, alright. Where are we looking here? Oh, there's loads. So there's... Watch out! What? Oh, shit. So... What was that? Hmm. A magic explosion of some sort. So powerful that even the echo was dangerous. I wager it destroyed the forest. But Siri and her companion weren't harmed. I saw them escape. Let's see where to. Look like Siri ran that way, and then the other guy ran that way. Place is creepy. I don't like it. Nor do I. Anyone here when this happened had a slim chance of surviving. I know what. Foglets. Fuck off. Just keep hitting it. There we go. That's that's the best way to kill them. Don't try and dodge. Just keep hitting. <laughs> Don the mask. There we go. Another portal. There's Siri. She jumped into a portal. Someone chased Siri. See that? Might have wounded her. She escaped through another portal. Know where it led? Magic residue trail leads to Velen. Any chance you can figure out where Siri's companion fled to? His portal's got to be nearby. I'll try to find it. Come. So Siri went to Velen from here. So did she come to Skellige before she went to Velen? Because we've done all the Ve um, the Siri Velen stuff. So did she go back there, or did she go there and um, go here first? Hmm. Well, ready? Use them. Whoa! Nice fight. One repelled the other with powerful magic, then fled through a portal. A mage? Most likely. Who was the other guy? That was with Siri. It's Siri's companion and the one who wounded her. How do you know? I don't. Making an educated guess. They both appeared in the previous visions. Siri's got a powerful ally. Who's the ally? I have no idea who it could be. Thought she was alone. So let's see what the, where the attacker landed. Maybe something left of the one who got hit by the spell. It's clearing up. Ermian must be getting a handle on the weather. Which means he'll be free to attack us again. Are you pleased with yourselves? Look at what you brought down on us! If someone's death were to He's help pissed. you find Siri, would you start making human sacrifices as well? <laughs> We're ready to do anything for Siri. Calm down. Yeah, it was only a bit of rain, mate, and foglets. We killed the foglets, so... You know, it wasn't really as bad as the sea said it would be. There was no floods, so... Calm down, mate. Relax. Storm's died down. You've clearly got things under control. For now! But who knows what would be a week or two on? Stop panicking! Here's your mask. It is worthless. It's an unwieldy ashtray at best. I hope you've learned something useful at least. 
very. I'm talking to Geralt. You! You I'll deal with later. So? So we need to examine one more trail. That's where the guy got blasted to. And um, we'll learn something. That's not this is term that we need to move on. Got a feeling we found something interesting. Just need to examine one more thing. So look for a body in this area. Um something's pinned under that tree. Can you I can. Well this tree. Whoa, what you doing? That's so cool. Oh my god, I wish I was a sorceress instead of a witcher. Sorcerers have some, some, some really cool effects, don't they? So they're telekinetic, they can t teleport. They can c conjure stuff, I think. This, what can't they do? Armor's clean. No blood, no sword nicks. Ciri's friend must have... What do you call it? Is that a wild hunt guy? Exquisite. The armor. All the workmanship's unfamiliar. Can't even tell where it's from. Probably because it belonged to a writer of the Wild Hunt. Yep. What? So it's true. The Wild Hunt. I feared as much. First here, then on Hindersfjall. What did they want? They're looking for Siri. But why? Um, is this something to do with her blood? Because she's the blood of the Emperor. Oh, it says right there. Because of the elder blood in her veins. Elder blood flows in Ciri's veins. Tis uh, true, she can trace her lineage clear back to Lara Duran, which is why the women in her family have always had extraordinary abilities. But could that truly be so important? Ciri's exceptional. She travels between places here and other worlds. Space is no obstacle for her. Ah. Which is why the Wild Hunt wants to capture her. Yeah, Siri is something special. So you said the Wild Hunt was on Hindersfjall. Speaking of the hunt, mentioned it appeared on Hindersfjall. Well, it happened at least a fortnight after the cataclysm struck here on Art Skellig. The raids raided Lofoten at dusk in a blizzard. Itself a strange occurrence for that time of year. The islanders said the wraiths. They barged into their huts, killed anyone who resisted, then galloped inland. Laughing fiendishly. Anyone survive? A dozen or so women and an old man. Next stop, Hindersfjall. I'll meet you on the beach near Lofoten. Um, let's go together right now. Um, yeah. Wait, can't we go together right now? But you detest being teleported. Don't exactly like potions either, but I drink them when I have to. <laughs> you also drink them when there's no need at all. Very well. Let's go. Stay close to me. Good luck to you. Inform me once you've learned anything new. So he said that these people got attacked a fortnight after the cataclysm. So how long after the cataclysm is it now? Must be some time. Like a long time. Quite a few years since I was last on Hindersfjall. But if I remember correctly, Lofoten should be this way. Raised huts and fresh graves. Hmm, this must be it. Gathering of some kind. We've come at a bad time. There's no good time to talk about the wild hunt. Alright, so we just finished the quest, didn't we? So, it didn't actually take that long, so we'll just carry on for now. So, we're in Lofoten, aren't we? We need to speak to these people about some wraiths or something that attacked. Ritual of some kind. We'll have to wait. We'll do no such thing. <laughs> Dear sisters, pardon the interruption, but we've an important matter to discuss. Can you not see we're commemorating the dead? So? And we're looking for someone who's still alive. Please, this is urgent. <sighs> then speak. We're looking for an ashen-haired young woman. you said that so many times. Um... They say the Wild Hunt destroyed your village. Let's just go to the Siri question. We're looking for a young woman, name of Siri. Ashen hair, green eyes. I'm sorry. She is not here. Unless she lies in a grave. That is, I do not recall one by that name. But I buried so many, I may have forgotten. This, this Siri, has she a scar here on her cheek? Yes, 
Yes, what happened to her? Don't know. Saw her but for a moment, right before, before it all. She was in the stables with Craven. A thousand curses upon him. Who's Craven? Craven, who are we talking about? Um, yeah. This Craven you mentioned, does he have a name? He did. Until the elders struck him from the saga of ancestors. It's as if he has ceased to exist. The lore forbids anyone from touching him, speaking to him, even uttering his name. What did he do to deserve that? He fled from the wild hunt. He alone. We need to talk to him, even if it's not in keeping with your customs. You've come too late. He went to the garden to fight Morkvag. Morgvarg. I killed Morgvarg in a side quest outside of recording, so yeah, already killed the monster in the garden. Also, I don't understand right, so he fled from the wild hunt and that causes him to, I don't know, be banished if you like, because they said, no, we not even speak his name because he fled. What? Cowards don't usually fight monsters. Let's just talk about it a bit more. I want to understand a bit more about why they don't like him. A coward who willingly seeks battle? Am I the only one who sees the contradiction? That's why he did it. Craven knew he would prove the elders wrong only if he killed Morkvarg. And thus regain his honor and his name. Trial by ordeal. Very skeleton. I do not mock your laws. Please also respect ours. But he wasn't a soldier, was he? Why, why, why would you expect the villager to fight the wild, I don't understand, the wild, the wild hunt? This Morkvarg, half man, half wolf? Yes. Won't bother you anymore. Already killed it. Yeah. No. Craven went there before you, but has yet to return. Didn't see him in the garden. Doesn't bode well. Don't know if there's much point in going there. Even if he's dead, we could find some clues near his body. Let's hope. Um, thank you. Thanks for your help. I understand you intend to enter the garden. I dislike it when foreigners enter the sacred grounds. But so be it. Custom demands pilgrims make an offering of their own blood before the tree. Craven surely did so. Unless he lacked not only courage, but respect for Freyr as well. You needn't worry about us. Geralt and I always give the gods the respect they are due. <laughs> What's she looking at me that for? Like, yeah, right. <laughs> so, missing persons enter Freyr's garden. Is that the... Is that another new quest that we just got, or...? Let's just, let's just make our way to the garden and see what happens. You didn't mention your heroic battle with this Morkvarg character. You know me. Don't like to take my work home. <clears throat> I'm afraid you don't like home. The very concept of it. I asked you once to move to Vengerberg for me. Remember? Was that ever a row? Yeah. Those were the days. I think Yen's not dressed properly for the same weather. Oh my god, a white wolf. Die! Ah! Ah! Cha! <laughs> okay. She wasn't even asked by that. She didn't even, like, stop. She just carried on jogging. Mysterious garden. Shame we're not here under different circumstances. Oh, you dirty bitch! She was talking about sex. Quest updated missing pit. Did we completed that quest? Yeah, we completed that quest now. Alright then guys, we, um, just because we started a new quest, we'll end the video here, so that's all we've got time for. So um, next video we'll start this nameless quest, so thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.